Broken hearts don't lie An empty page, a story to write I'm in love, you're divine And it's all in our signs We're going away Get your back Check the text Hola, amigos Hola Hello, everybody What's Happy up, everyone? Izzy and MJ, Endless RVing on a special edition Cinco de Mayo <laughs> live stream. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Check on the sound because we have some music playing. So let us know if it is. Yeah, we don't know how the music sounds on your end. If it's too loud or not. Yeah. If it is, we'll shut it down. But and if uh, you just can't let us hear know. it, we'll, we'll pump it a little bit. Yeah, um, so we got a couple people in here yeah, now. Yeah, let's see who we got. Let's say hello. We got Drew. Drew was first. Hola, Drew. What's up, Drew? Um, hello, Anne. It's one of our insiders and our wonderful moderators. Yes. Uh, Foreverland RV is here. Welcome. Creatograms. Does this come with a special dinner? No, sorry. <laughs> well, for us, it does. <laughs> uh, we got RV Kids. Hey, Rocky. I don't know who's there, but hello. Um, RV reviews by the Air Force guy. Paul, good evening. Hi. Thanks for being here. Let's go through. William Dixon, hello. Matt, another one of our insiders. How you What's doing, up, Matt? Matt? Uh, Scott Jacobs in appreciation. Welcome. I'm using my phone tonight, not the computer. Uh, Gus, another one of our ERV insiders. What's up, Gus? Hi, Gus from Florida. And... Dennis Blood. Hey, Dennis. What's up, Dennis? I'm mailing out your, your uh, Matt sticker They're in soon. the car, actually. Yes, They're trying yeah. to find a mailbox. <laughs> um, Don is here. Another ERV insider. Hello, Don. Guys, let us know if the sound is okay. It's really loud, actually. It's loud. Yeah, I'm going like, to lower this thing. Yeah. It's kind of hard, hard to concentrate. <laughs> um, Nicole Covart, my hey, BFF. Nikki. Hola. Um, RV traveling MIA researcher. Thanks for coming. Rebecca Blankenship, welcome. Michael DeMassa, how are you? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Jim Bertrand is here from Winnipeg, Canada. Nice. Welcome. Uh, Jason, Jason's not with us on this trip. He's with his dad, but he is here in the chat. Yes, Hi, honey. he is. Hi, Jason. Uh, Michael Lupo is here from Tom's River. Yes, Hello. I remember that, Mike and Laura. Hi, guys. And Culture Lifestyle Travel. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Happy sick to my own. Arriba! Woo! <laughs> All right. So what has everybody been up to today mm -hmm. for us? We actually uh, were in Hershey. So we kind of uh, planned this like last minute. Actually, when we put the stream up, we were planning to do it from home, right? So Yes. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't know we were going to be away. We are right now live from Hershey, and uh, it is quiet out here. Oh, there's Super quiet. There's seven other spots yeah, taken so we got in a almost very the whole large... place yeah. to ourselves. Yeah, so it's really nice. It's pretty cool. Uh, a couple other hellos real quick. Um, we got um, Anne said she's only hearing us, nothing else. Maybe when you're making the guac, we'll pump it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, Susan's here from New Horizons. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Uh, the Bennetts are here. Hi, What's Rob up, and Vicky. What's up, guys? Um, Papa Drew is working. Sorry about that. And I'm sorry about your trip being canceled. Yeah. California is just as, ooh, having a hard time as Jersey is. That's why we had to come to Pennsylvania to right. camp. <laughs> um, okay. Caught up there. Cool. So. I want to thank our. Our, uh, we want to make a special thank you um, to our insiders. And we had we got a new in our ERV insider today, Patty and Joe Horner. I don't know if you hear Horners. If you're here, do a shout out and say hi. Um, but we have our insiders here, Matt Cranford, Gus Paca, Ann Krushka, Don Bruder. And mm -hmm. I think that's everybody who's here. They're, they're everybody with the special emojis next to their name. Yeah, the little new Mars. ERV Insiders, and everything's in the description below, guys, if you want to uh, get involved in the ERV Insiders. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. All right, we got the Haley family. What's up? Happy Taco Tuesday. And the Cinco, I locked down during Corona. Yeah, the irony. Right. For sure. You want to tell them what we have for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't tacos. No, it wasn't. We didn't do, we didn't do, but we're going to do Mexican now, but we um so we're in hershey so there's this place in it's there's a couple different we found states. Actually in harrisburg yeah first. it's called arugas if rv kids tv is here they probably know because they're in pennsylvania so arugas has really good food but they have vegan um 
like wings. So we had um, honey barbecue. They were phenomenal. They were phenomenal. Honey barbecue wings, sweet um, steamer, sweet potatoes, and a salad. And a salad. Very exciting. Woo-hoo! So we're going <laughs> to kick it up a notch with some guac and chips. <laughs> we live on the edge. Um, all right. Seven RVs, that's social distancing. It sure oh, is. Oh, it's awesome. It is so quiet. I mean, it is... You walk around. There's, there's nobody. nobody. You walk. There's, there's nobody. Yeah, they ask you that you wear your masks, but I mean, we wore them, but there's really not in many people at all. We so one couple. Anybody's familiar with the uh, Hershey area, the Giant Center where the RV show is? I actually, went for a run from the campground, like to Chocolate World around there. It is eerily quiet. It is yeah. nobody out. It's crazy. Yeah. So I, we may go live this week sometime from the show, the campground, and you know, the yes, the eerie silence over at Hershey yeah. Park. Um, Vinny Mutz. Hey, Vinny. What's going he on? He said, what's up, guys? We're leaving for Anchor Down Resort in Tennessee next week. I nice. got jealous when I saw you guys on Instagram. Nice. Judy Smiley. Hello from San Diego, um, California. Cinco de Mayo Capital when we're not in a pandemic. They have a lot yeah. of avocados in San Diego. Yeah. I think. That's I, why you want an avocado. Yes. I told MJ I would love of our next house. I had an avocado tree and a mango tree. I would be so happy. <laughs> Yeah, so we have to go way south to do that. <laughs> we got Yvette Klenner from here, from uh, Arizona. Hi, Yvette. Hi. And Al is here. Hey, Al. Hello. Uh, does it smell like chocolate around there? Mm, no, it Not doesn't. Really. Well, I mean, I think the factory's still open because I saw that was open, but yeah. like, Hershey Park is shut down. There's nothing Yeah, open. nothing happening. All the restaurants, everything's closed. Everything's closed. Yeah, I mean, we, we picked up, you know, when yeah. we got our, uh, our food. All right, so um, you want to get started? And we got some fun. So after um, we do this, I have a little Cinco de Maya trivia for you. We'll see what how smart you are. And it has a lot to do with alcohol. So a lot of you will probably be... <laughs> Might be good at it. Might, yeah, <laughs> right? And you've been... Uh, she, Anne's been putting it down tonight, huh? So let us know in the uh, <laughs> chat if anybody has their ingredients or you're just going to watch me do it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So what's going to... So we didn't kind of figure this out until like a couple of minutes ago so it's very we, unlike us <laughs> yeah we have a camera set up on a tripod right now so what's going to happen is um since we're on the motorhome this is where everything's going to happen as far as us make me making the guacamole so i'm going to move this stuff mj is going to take the camera and kind of go overhead okay so i don't know it's going to work out it might be a little shaky Hopefully no wires fall out. Yes. The dogs <laughs> are sleeping on the couch. Yeah. Well, they're they... probably going to get up once I start cutting yeah, stuff. Yeah. So let us. Yeah, Jason, you won't know the uh, the alcohol questions. Yeah. All right. Just watch the wires. All right, guys. Live. Live, live. All right. Let me get this out there. Red onion. Cilantro. Just going to shake a second so I can get over here. This one wrong step could take the, it's all over. take the wire out. One wrong step, it's all over, guys. All right. Chef Izzy. Hey, Corey and Lori. I don't know who's there. Make sure you wash your hands before. Oh, they're both there, actually. I see both. Cool. Okay. Now all right, guys. I'm going to try to read chat and hold the camera at the same time. <laughs> this is going to get bad. We'll see. So, what is the first and most important ingredient you need? Haas avocados. We're going to do it too. Watch how you hold those, babe. Right. So, <laughs> like this. This position you're holding. So, you want them just a little give. These might be actually be a little too oh, ripe, okay. but you don't. You don't want them uh, super hard because they'll taste like crap. So, so I the, bought these on these are pretty good. Friday. I went shopping. So today's Tuesday. So I bought them pretty hard yeah, on Friday. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually do it in here first. But that's a harder one. So Now, ideally, guys, you're going to want to um, have like one of those avocado like maker kits, which we had, um, but it fell on the floor and broke. It wasn't the granite one. It was actually a clay one we got in Mexico. We got on our honeymoon. Yeah. We did a class on our honeymoon. Uh, it was an excursion. It was called Salsa and Salsa. So we learned how to make salsa, and then we learned how to dance salsa. Yes. So, all right. Now, they sell these fancy things that now, you can... why is this not focusing on me? Pull it back. Come back. There you go. Okay. They make these fancy things that you can buy in the store. You don't need that, guys. Just use a spoon. Wow, this is really good. It's nice and soft. It's like perfect texture. That's the garbage. All right, scoop it out. Oh, man, this is like butter. Woo! This is going to be good. All right. That's one avocado. 
And these are going to mash up nicely, too. All right. So is anybody following along? Let us know. Even though I can't read it. I'm trying to read as I'm... Hey, Blake is here. Hey, Blakey. Blake, I hope you got your ingredients. All right. What other live stream is doing freaking live guacamole? I don't think anybody's doing that. Especially with a sombrero on the head. What I didn't get was a paper towel. All right. Next. Now, you would normally mash this up, right? Like with the little uh, pillar thing. But since ours broke, I'm just going to... You don't even need... These are so soft, guys. Guys, I'm trying to focus this. Pull up. Hang on. I know. But there it's you not go. really doing it well there either. And so I'm just going to cut this up. Go lay down. All right. And then... <laughs> chop it up. very interested. And the beggars come out. Actually, Sierra. Hey, Ellie's here. What's up? My oh, si my sister-in-law. My hey, sister's Ellie. in the house. All right. What did I put? The okay. Now we're gonna put. Now this is personal, guys. How much salt you want to put? And there's different recipes with this, right? You can do. <laughs> you can Sorry, do. I'm um, trying to read the chat too. You can do uh, with uh, hot peppers. People, some people put garlic. Some people put tomatoes. I just like you know they like salt, lime, and whatever. So I'm just gonna do a pinch of salt. So everybody's saying, you know, use a knife, use a, use a fork, fork. Guys, yeah. every, there's so many different ways to do this. You there's know? no one way, right? But yeah, whatever works for you, go for it. Can you get All me back right. down? All right. So there was a little pinch of salt in there. You got to pull the camera back. There you go. All right. Now we're going to add some onion. So this is red onion, guys. I cut about a quarter of a red onion because MJ doesn't like onion too much, but it is necessary. Nikki said there's a lot of freaking coming out of Izzy's mouth tonight. Is there? Matt said he got his ingredients to make it the same way he does. All right. His fresh cut. Heavy. Fresh cut cilantro. Get that in there. All right. Hey, Donna Delahanty, my fellow vegan. Here's the secret, guys. Fresh lime. None of that lime juice stuff. We want it fresh. All right. Squeeze the whole lime in there. One. Now, if you're making more avocados, if you're using more, then use more lime. And now let's mix it up, guys. And now the other one's coming out. Oh this is, by the way, Izzy's uh, beautiful work. He's taught the dogs to beg. <laughs> They're begging that. They never get it. They don't make the camera. Table. They don't make it on camera too often, right? Now, what happens is after every meal, they sit by the table, give Izzy the, the puppy dog eyes, bowl. and then he gets up and he gives him food. He may actually dinner. be able to use a small bowl. All right. That's the mixing bowl. I don't even need to taste it. That's how confident I am. But this is going to be good. Whoa. Guys, you can't have avocado. Yes, yes. guys, don't feed your dogs avocado. It's not good for them. This one is... Many fruits and veggies are, but that is not one of them. And... This is garbage. Guys, you're not getting anything. Get Look out. at Sierra, I know, right? Dude, they're, they're stalkers. Let's move this here. Because she knows. Daddy always feeds after he eats. And now we're going to finish it off. By the way, if they're, where are these from? Where's these are from, from uh, ShopRite. I don't, I don't know if this is ShopRite. I think this is like in the Northeast, but these are like the best they corn almost, chips ever. They almost taste like uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. So you want to decorate it. Okay, Here. so they say, say hi to Bowser. <laughs> maybe they'll pan the chips. Maybe they'll and, get a chip each. And then we got Sierra. All right. Look and one in the beauty. center. And I feel like uh, Martha Stewart. Very pretty. Do you want to get an overhead shot of that? I don't know if I can see this. The lighting is bad because of our lights. <laughs> How's that look, guys? You want me to uh, feed them? One at a time. Watch how cute they are. Ready? Go ahead. She's going to run over here. Oh my god, look how cute. All right. Hey, Daddy always comes through. And now we're going to eat this while doing the live stream. 
Yes. All right, that's it, guys. Put the camera back, and I'm gonna get my. We'll chat a little. I want to catch up on the chat, and then we will. Um, I have a, some questions for you all. Oh. Ooh. We just dropped the water. All right. All right. Hopefully, they'll get away from us now. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> you guys. What? What? People are writing in Spanish to us. Oh God, our ha our hats are banging. All right, so All right. hope you guys, if somebody uh, played along with us, actually I didn't even try it. So you try it first. Be honest. I hate eating on camera. Mmm. Is it good? Delish. Good, cool. Delish. You gotta right. eat this stuff quick, cause then mm. it turns black. It's so good. All right, so let's go back. William Dixon's taking a nap. Weren't you taking a nap last live stream? Are we like your yeah, lullaby? It's really good. It's really <laughs> good. It's better than last time. Um, RV Kids, Aaron doesn't like guacamole. Am I the only person? Maybe and the only one in the stream. Maybe in the stream, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to go fix this camera, babe, so we can see ourselves. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. I'm still getting... Okay. So... Hang on a second. I'm just following the chat. Okay. Uh, for, da, 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 the dog wants it. Yeah, the dog wants everything we have. All right, guys, get out of here. Because one down. of them is going to pull out a wire. Yeah, I know. Come here. Come um, over here. Corey uh, said I would do live Blackstone cooking, but wouldn't be able to edit the swearing. You want to be? Um, Anne says I don't like onion and cilantro. I don't like cilantro at all, and I can always pick it out. But for some reason, in guac, I love it. Now I we. Love it. Sometimes we did it once. I think I did it once with like, um, you could put chili pepper in there, like little uh, red pepper, but she doesn't like spicy stuff. So like this, it comes out really well. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Um, okay. Tom. And, oh, the Northams are here. Hey guys. hey guys. They have the chips, but they need guac. Well, sorry. Go back a little bit on the You're replay. You're not around us. Uh, lime time. I used the lime. Anne says she used the lime for margaritas. <laughs> Put the lime in the coke. Let us know what pe what restaurants are charging. Remember we went to that place? Oh, my God. We went to this place, and I, I was like, this is not serious. They charge us $16 for guacamole. It was two avocados. It's just what I yeah. did. They charged yeah. $16. Yeah. I'm like, we're never, ever coming back here again. Somebody said no garlic? You can do. Um, yeah, we don't. It doesn't really need it. There's no know. set so recipe. Can... You guys can kind of make it how you want. This Pick is one up. that we like. Um, let's see. It looks amazing. Donna said, I so love your dogs. These were frozen. One Did you know you can lap. put avocado pits in your smoothies, Donna said. Really? You grind them up? That um, I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, Drew said, the chips need to be homemade and fresh. They don't need to be. Oh, These are delicious. Who said that, Drew? Drew. That's a lot. Now you get into a lot of work. I know. We want <laughs> easy. Easy, Drew. Um... The dogs are drooling. I know. These dogs would eat. I, I swear to God, they would eat nonstop. They're so greedy. They're, they're, all they want to do is eat. Ann said her dog would be sitting there with his tail wagging in hope. Well, these guys know they're always going to get to If you could see, Sierra is still, she's laying at Izzy's staring feet. At her. Staring. The other one's staring. sleeping. Yeah. He just goes off. She will not break the stare. Um, all right. Oh, it looks awesome. I miss my niece and nephew, Ellie said. Yeah. Oh, we put them on live. Um, if I tried it, it would be all over the computer keyboard, Ann said. Looks awesome. Maybe he had margaritas. Don said, no, I don't like it either. Oh, okay. So there are other people out there that don't okay. like guac. Right, so thanks for being here, Don, even though awesome. you don't like it. <laughs> I think your guac was perfect, except for no jalapeno. No. Yeah, you. that's what I said. You can put jalapeno yeah. if you want to spice it up, but she, she won't like it. Yeah. Um, here, you read this, Drew said. So, I don't even know what that says. Drew, I, fruta el chip y, I don't know what that says. Translate, Drew, please. <laughs> I love it. Nikki, you love cilantro? Yeah, I, I don't like it. And here, he wrote something else. Something good. Eso se también bien. I think he says something that, that looks good. Jason is going for a walk. Bye, honey. And then he says, necesitas un galo. What is that? something about margaritas? <laughs> So guys, right now we were um we were stressing out a little bit regarding if you know our connection would be good here. The good news is there's good cellular service over here in uh, where we're at. So actually, right now we're 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 doing our live 
uh, I, I brought it down a little bit from 2K to 1080p, but everything seems to be working out well. So our connection is yeah, proving itself. Yeah, it's really itself. good, right? I yeah. don't think there's any buffering or anything. Yeah, let us know. It'll probably crap out now, but... <laughs> uh, Dave is here. Happy Cinco de Mayo, Dave. Uh, Zeta. Hi, Zeta. Hi, Izzy. I'm damn puppies. Champ does not get people food. Oh, man. It's missing out. Um, Our guys are the vacuum cleaners. Whatever we don't eat, oh, yeah. it's in the fridge. They, yep, they I, I give everything to them. We don't waste food that way. <laughs> um, Susan said, I can't have alcohol due to medication, but pass me some food, please. Here you go. For you, Susan. Um, I'm not going to eat this whole thing by myself. I no, because we had a big dinner. That's the <laughs> We ate all those wings. Now I'm like, ugh. Blake said we should wear sombreros more often. I yeah, think you like that? A... These are actually made in Mexico. They're not made in China. Yes. I ordered these special for you. Like, we're ever going to wear these. I'm going to ship them back, I think, to Amazon. Because <laughs> we're not going to wear these again. Uh, all right, Drew, can you speak English? <laughs> I can't. Google understand. Translate. Wonderful. I'm married to a Spanish man, but Spanish-speaking man. I don't read Spanish very I well. don't understand. Um, Don said he's having a margarita for us. And Matt, too. Video is crystal clear in the sound, Donna said. Awesome. Good. Uh, Drew, oh, you need a gallon of margaritas with the chips and guacamole. Yeah, well, Izzy doesn't drink. I drink every once in a while. My friend Nikki that's in here, when I go out with her, that then we, we drink. Uh -huh. um, we had a great connection when we were there, and it was crowded. Where was Ann talking about? I don't know which. Did she say something? Here. Oh, wait, I did Hershey. I did download speed tests, so our, our actual handheld phones or cell phones are on Verizon, and our um, internet on our rig is on AT&T. Verizon's far superior. We were getting 190 meg download speed on Verizon. Mm -hmm. AT&T, we're getting like 45, but we're getting good upload speeds, like 30 megs on AT&T. So either one will work, but Verizon's yeah. definitely the superior one. You want to put the music up a little bit? No, I want to read the questions. Oh. Yeah. Um... Yeah, but we can still put it up. Some background music. Donna said, what kind of wings did you have? There's a place, Donna, I mentioned before, it's called Arugas. If you're ever in Pennsylvania, I think there's, they're elsewhere, though. And they have um, vegan wings. So you would yes. like that. They're amazing. And you can get any kind. We had honey barbecue. They were phenomenal. Yes. Phenomenal. Um, there's a place we're going to hit in Harrisburg, uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, it's after. called the Vegetable Hunter Cafe. They have great vegan stuff. Um Blake said Amazon is growing huge. They're increasing their Amazon airlines. Oh, I yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Everybody's sure. stuck home. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry just listening to all this working in the garden and listening to live stream. Nice. All right. All right, cool. Yeah, guacamole is like a lot like people's brains. There's no two alike. <laughs> that is true. Hey, Harry. Harry, I'm stylishly late to the party. All right, guys, let's see how smart you are. Nikki, you're not a bad influence. You're good influence. I like the guacamole with chunks in it. I don't like yeah. it super smooth. Yeah, I I like it smooth, but I'll eat it either way. All right, guys. Uh, Nikki, not that vegan place. She said he wanted the vegan plate. That's not too close to us where we are. That's a vegan treat. I wish. Mm -hmm. All right. Type your answers. Let's have some fun. Let's see what you know. In 2013, Americans spent more than $600 million on what for Cinco de Mayo? Hit it. Oh, I'm very thirsty. That I am. Those wings made me really thirsty. Yeah, because <laughs> you should take your blood pressure now. It's probably up 30 points. I know, right? the salt in there. Yeah. Um, Roy and Becky's Travels. Hello. I love the hats. And you all are funny. Love you both. Oh, and he said it in Spanish. <laughs> here, a read, lot of Espanol here, here. Read this. He says he loves his sombreros. No, read it in Spanish. Amos los sombreros y todos ustedes son divertidos. Los amo a los dos. He loves the both there of us. There you go. Donna, if you go to Las Vegas, you have to go to Violet's Vegan. The food is off the hook. Seriously, three friends, not vegans, went there and ordered more food after lunch to take home. Nice. Mm. Nice. Daddy Cossity. Never saw that name. Chips. Welcome, everybody that's new yeah, to the stream. Yeah, if you're new to this Thank stream. Thank you for coming and checking us out. Welcome. Okay. Oh, okay. So people are answering tequila, beer, chips, tequila, tequila, pinatas, funny pinatas. hats, funny hats, uh, guac, margaritas. All right. In 2013, Americans spent more than $600 million on beer. Beer. On beer. So if you said beer, that was Harry. Harry got it right. Aren't Corona sales down this year? I thought I had read that. Why? Because of the name? I think so. Yeah. I thought I had read that. <laughs> 
All right. Then we got, um, all right, next one. This is an interesting one. Hmm. Denver, Colorado and Chandler, Arizona hold an annual what race? I got this one right. In honor of Cinco de Mayo and an, uh, an annual what race? In honor of Rat Cinco race. de Mayo. I can't even more of this. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I made this, I wanted to beat almost the whole thing. Yeah. Izzy can eat a lot. He can put it down. Yeah, but I just ate like 10 wings. I know. Two sweet potatoes and a huge salad. All right. Denver, Colorado, and Chandler, Arizona hold an annual Chihuahua race in honor. Oh, my God. I just read the picture. <laughs> 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 I'm not even drinking. <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, Matt. Hey, y'all. Sorry, busy day. I'm at six RV sales this month. We're looking to beat last month's record. Damn. Good for you, Matt. Matt, uh, thank you for the super chat. And Matt is one of our ERV insiders as well. He's a king air. Welcome, Matt. Yes. So, donkey, ostrich, donkey. Yeah. And then I went and said, donkey the races. <laughs> it is Chihuahua. They do a Chihuahua race in honor of Cinco de Mayo. Now, anybody in here own a Chihuahua? And if you do, do you own a chihuahua that doesn't want to kill everybody? Yeah, I've trained so many <laughs> chihuahuas, and I think I had maybe two out of, like, 50. They have, like, a little man that, syndrome. That did not want, or just, they were, like, you know, scared. They're just scared, a scared breed. Yeah. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out Matt's R RV reviews, uh, go check him out. I'm going to move this, guys. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you want me to take it? All right, next question. Americans drink an average of how many alcoholic beverages each on Cinco de Mayo? An average of how many alcoholic beverages each on Cinco de Mayo? Go for it. Hmm. I'm going to say, and this one I don't know the answer. In my hat. I'm, I'm going to say that. six. Okay. That's my answer. And I don't know the answer, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 All right, do, do, do. who's in there? How many? The average six. American drinks. Donna how many said drinks? Six. Nikki said four. No, four. Harry is, said three. I'm saying six. Dennis six. Michael five. Gus twelve. Wow, Gus. Gus might be closer. There. <laughs> Michael seven and two. Scott ten. Matt two and a half. Big Daddy thirteen. Hmm. Zeta four. Chihuahua dog and it wanted to kill everything. We traded up to a Great Dane. It was better. <laughs> yeah. The bigger dogs are so much yeah. like more chill. Yeah, they're, they they're, really are. Uh, Matt said five. Leonel. Hey, Leonel. Said 12. Um, Roy and Becky's 12. Don six. Huh. Papa drew three. All, All right, man. guys. So those of you that said three or four, you're right. It's nice. three and a half. Three and a half, so you're right in the middle there. So who has half See, a drink? See, not everybody's as alcoholic as you think. You said <laughs> six. Well, Gus said a couple of people said twelve, right? Gus and somebody said thirteen too. All right, next one. Americans drink. Oh wait, I said that. You would think I like drank something. All right, Americans drink more what than any other country? Mm. Americans drink more what than any other country? This is going to be know. interesting. You don't know this? Drink the juice. Don't, but don't answer, because then if you get it right, I can't say anything. <laughs> they All drink right. the juice. And Donna said lightweights. <laughs> A couple of people said that. Yeah, right? So lightweights. question is, Americans drink more than blank of any other country. Is this during Cinco de Mayo all the time? No, drink more this than any In other general. country. It didn't say Cinco de Mayo. Maybe the question did say that, but... Put it in it there, guys. There. I don't know if that was meant. All right, we got beer, soda, soda, coffee, wine, beer, Coke, coffee, beer, yeah, coffee. Yeah. I say coffee. Yeah, maybe they do mean Cinco de Mayo, but it wasn't. It wasn't listed in in the uh, in the facts that I was reading. Uh, it's gonna um, be a controversial. Coffee, here. beer, soda, tequila. Ooh. Northwoods Army Life, you got it. It is tequila. Tequila. Okay. Yes, it is tequila. Um. All right, so it seems like we have um, somebody said it has an endless RV name. Look at that. What? Smile Endless RV. Endless RV. Endless RV. Oh, Interesting. It's an original name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the past, Americans have consumed more than 
80 million pounds of what on Cinco Ooh. de Mayo? 80 million pounds of what on Cinco de Mayo? Ah, hmm. I heard people said bourbon. Hmm, that's a good one. Yeah. I shouldn't eat all that. You feel sick now? I just feel full. I always know the look that is. Just gets. feel bloated. Yeah, because <laughs> he gets this look on him. All right, let's see what we got. All right, guys, put it, it in the stream. In the past, Americans have consumed more than eighty million pounds of what on Cinco de Mayo? We've got beef. Nikki said <laughs> beef. Good, good Tacos, answer. Tacos, coffee, guacamole, Tortillas. chips. The answer has been given. I just want to see what people put. Chips, chips, beef, taco meat, avocados, beans, all different things. I wonder how many avocados versus, are avocado, consumed avocados, beans. in the United States in a year. It's got to oh be a God. lot. It's got to be a lot. Yeah. So the answer is avocados. You nailed it. Those are there. A couple people got that. Good job. Guacamole shove. count too. I yeah, guess right? we can give it to you, Ann. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. This is an interesting one, and everybody loves them, so you can uh, see why. There are about how many Mexican restaurants in the United States? Mm. And we haven't been to one in a while. Oh, I miss it. I miss it. We haven't been. How there. many, about how many Mexican restaurants in the United States? Before coronavirus, now there's probably 10 Yeah. that are open. I know, right? I wonder how many people are going to shut down. That's the sad part, yeah. you know, is seeing how many people are going to wind up shutting down <clears throat> all right so how see. many mexican restaurants approximately in the united states while we're waiting you want to do a three amigos dance let's see if i remember it now like this one two three oh. Oh. <laughs> you see her just jumped up <laughs> she was scared her relax oh okay uh michael said twenty thousand. dennis said not enough yeah right <laughs> 10, california had... probably has uh half of them Twenty thousand. Arizona had a lot. Oh, yeah. Really Arizona. Nice. That was some of the best Mexican food we had yeah, was in Arizona. It was really good. Almost as many as dollar stores, Don <laughs> said. We get carry out from our favorite. Nikki said 40000 Camping Allen. Buenos dias, amigos. Hi, Allen. What's up, Camping Allen? Welcome. Alan? Two and a half million. Northams. Woo. You That's wish. a lot. 59000 Al said. sixty k. Two 250000 all right. Let's what does it go? Like price is right? If you overbid, then it goes to the <laughs> closest without overbidding? So the answer is 100,000. Wow, there's some really high numbers here. I wish it was like that. It's about 54,000. 54,000. And said they have at least 10 in a town of 30,000. Wow. Yeah. Huh. 54K. Did Matt, Matt, you Googled that. Matt got 54K. <laughs> <laughs> totally Matt cheats. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Next, Americans spend about two point nine billion dollars billion on what every dollars. year? It is a drink. Billion, a billion. dollars. Yes, you said. Hey, John, casual RV is here. What's up, John? What's going on? He just got back from a little uh, trip. Yeah, a nice little weekend away. Yes. I'm glad people are here. This is not our usual date and time that we do day and time that we do this so thank you guys for, yes. for joining us um, i just looked at that light and got like blinded for did a second. You, yeah, you can't look at it it's like <laughs> it's the sun like, yeah i've yeah. seeing green all right so americans spend about 2.9 billion dollars on what every year it is a drink yeah matt lol i know you googled that matt matt, matt alcohol you got to get a little more um now we're down yeah ah look at all these answers coming in margarita margarita margaritas a pinky to the lip, beer, alcohol, champagne, beer, antacids from eating all this stuff, wine. It is, it is uh, margaritas. Wow. Margaritas. It's a lot. Did you ever have a margarita? No, I don't like that stuff. It's like a girly drink. Right? Is it? What does that mean? Izzy never really drank in college no, never, even. Never did. It was my thing. Izzy was very, uh, what's the word? What? Straight and narrow. You know, very Izzy. As those of you who don't know, it, Izzy played um, baseball a lot in college, right? And he was always, you know, working hard and. Yeah, I always like to work. It sounds crazy, but like I love to work out. Like that's my high. 
Like I'd rather yeah. I'd rather do that than anything. Like yeah. if I don't get work out, I'm pissed. Yeah, like, I'm not yes. happy. Oh yeah, I'm he like get, a dog he, that doesn't get a walk. He gets very cranky, very <laughs> cranky. Okay. Um. So let's go. Boring. <laughs> Nikki said for not drinking. Um. Margaritas on the rocks for Izzy and said, "All right, guys. Next one. We have two more questions for you. One of the most popular traditional dishes in Mexico." For Cinco de Mayo is not tacos. What is it? Hmm. So I actually had um, the first time I had like real tacos, not like American tacos. Actually, it was when I worked in North Bergen. There was a guy. He had a Mexican restaurant. It was a white guy, but he like he grew up in California, and I had went there and um, he did like real tacos. It's completely different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. All right, so one of the most popular traditional dishes in Mexico for Cinco de Mayo is not tacos. What is it? Hmm. Our local Applebee's, Alan said, is about 35 miles away. They had It's a Perfect Day for a Margarita sign on their billboard for a year until coronavirus. (laughs) Steak, enchiladas, chimichangas, Hmm. enchiladas. These nuts, Matt. How old are you? (laughs) That's like Jason says that all the time. These nuts, but you got to say it like that um enchiladas what is that oh that's isn't that like yeah, yeah. Vieja? That, vieja? i think that's uh cuban Robo yeah vieja. uh I've burritos quesadillas refried beans burritos she's probably going to her bed um can she go oh it's, it's she closed. wants to go in sorry sweetie see i lay um, back on the carpet refried beans quesadilla burrito okay you want to say this uh Meatloaf, mole, no, Richard. Mole poblano. Poblano. It's a rich sauce made from chocolate, chocolate, not chocolate, and chilies. <laughs> That's one of the most popular traditional dishes in Mexico for Cinco de Mayo. Hmm. Hmm. I never even heard of that. Did anybody ever hear of that? That sounds gross, though. Chocolate yeah. and chilies? Maybe it's good. I don't know. I've never had it. Sierra, don't even think about it. <laughs> now, Lay down. Now her one pity is like sniffing. <laughs> She just jumped on the couch and she's sniffing the counter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do I have to move fun. this? I have to move this from her. Or she no, no, down? no. See her lay down. Lay down. All right. So um, this one that's sniffing the counter is notorious and she taught her this for swiping food from like counters. Oh. If you're not watching and it's close, she will make a she will watch you and you turn your back, she will swipe it. So here's the thing. I did nose work classes with Sierra scent work. All right. You know, like the drug sniffing dogs and that kind of thing. So the teacher, they had them searching for food, you know, like everywhere, and, every level top of cars and everywhere. So now she's always searching. She's constantly working. <laughs> she really did. I mean, she always loved to sniff, which is why I put her in those classes. We had a blast. But she uh, yeah, she's always on. If I get on home there. with food and I'm walking in, she her nose was right into the bag like yeah. immediately. Yeah. Um. All right. Ma, meatloaf, Zita said. Zita, if you were talking about the wedding crashers scene with Will Ferrell, <laughs> that is the funniest scene yes, ever on the face of I the earth. That. How many times we've played so that? Funny. Zita, tell me if that's that one. And what's the one he gets shot with the dart in the neck? <laughs> that's um, old school. Oh, my God. You ever see old <laughs> the school? Gun. What, he gets shot with the tranquilizer <laughs> in his neck? He's like, dude, you have a... Wait, what did he say? You have... You, you, guys, goes, you have a dart in your you neck. You have a dart in your neck. But the best oh is when he starts and he's like trying to like talk tough to the animals. He's like, yeah, it's like one of these, you get out of play. What? What? He's, <laughs> he's like talking th- to the He's threatening the like farm that. animals to shoot him with a dart. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, Richard said, not something from Taco Bell. Donna, there's chocolate bars with chili in it. I guess people like yeah, that. They are. Yeah, I'm not really, not really into that. Um, What's the right. last one? Um, Let's see. Zita said yes. That's Zita. That's such an awesome. Was scene. Was it the dart? Yeah. No. No. The uh, <laughs> oh, mom was the meatloaf. The chest. The meatloaf. What's she doing back there? I never know what she's doing back there. He's like, he's like, you still got it. He's like, <laughs> if you haven't seen <laughs> Wedding so Crashers, you need to see Wedding Crashers. Uh. Um. All right. Let's see. All right. Last one is the city of Longmont. This is sick, all right? The city of Longmont, <laughs> Colorado celebrates Cinco de Mayo with a beauty contest in which they crown a king and queen what? Hmm. What? Something gets crowned 
a king and queen for Cinco de Mayo in Longmont, Colorado. What is it? Let's see. While you're thinking of that answer, who here is psyched for UFC 249? This Saturday, May 9th, main event, Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje. I myself am super excited because it's been a while since we've been able to see this. And now Tony and Khabib got canceled, but I'm very excited for Saturday night. So who else is any UFC fans in here? And if so, anybody watching? Tell us, uh, um, you know, tell us if you are excited about the fight and who you're rooting for. MJ is like, you know, like lusting for blood. We were watching the UFC. uh, They do like this whole hype videos before. She's like, oh, I'm so excited for this. I love UFC. I used to hate it. Now, I'm, you know, those of you that may know me, like, I'm very spiritual, kind of, you know, I like to meditate and so all UFC this stuff. Comes on. And then UFC comes on. I'm like, tear them apart. I love UFC. Except it's really bad. There was one, remember the one with Tony Ferguson and, uh, and, Cowboy, and Cowboy, and then his head was like, I, that I couldn't look at. Um, so anyway, but yes, I, that's like the, the bad side comes out of me when we watch UFC. Um, is uh, Cindy Wheeler said we both look so cute. Thank you. My head is burning up right now. These things are really hot. <laughs> um, Richard Campbell said, interestingly, in the past 20 years, Taco Bell has opened and closed two stores in Mexico. Wow. I, yeah, well, I think if you're, like, from Mexico, you probably don't appreciate Taco Bell. Yeah, probably not. Right? Like, it's probably not that good. Matt said, do we watch Street Beefs on YouTube? That's probably something you would watch. Street Beefs? Street I, beefs? Think I, I think I've seen it. Yeah, that's the one with like the backyard fighting. Oh, I love that. I love that thing. That's like straight up like bare knuckle. No, actually, they're not bare knuckle, but it's like street fighting. Yes. Yeah. So I love it. On I YouTube. Don't, I'm not into fighting for fun. Like, as a spy, I can't watch, you know, like. Well, they, you know, they do their own two yeah, consenting but, adults. But it's like a sport. If it's a <laughs> sport, I'll watch it and I'll kind of, you know. So I guess Matt's into it. I guess so. Nice. Matt, you like that? Um, Ozita said, thanks for the reminder. Love USC. Yes, yeah, Zita. So nice. Prior so. to this whole Corona thing happening, we were talking about going to a Bellator in uh, Connecticut. Yes. And yep. we didn't book it. And thankfully, we didn't book it because I actually had to work that, like, I we weren't able to. It was on a Friday night for some weird reason instead of yep. Saturday. And thankfully, we didn't book it because it got canceled. So Yeah. But that we went camping that weekend instead. We did. That was our yeah. last camping weekend yep. before the whole lockdown started. Yes. Um, as Cindy said, at least you're not here in the heat, and it's only May in Nevada. Yeah, well, we haven't even had to turn on the air conditioning. The weather's been perfect so far. It's not supposed to rain like all day, but it's been like 65 and like 45 at night, so it's been good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Donna said she doesn't like watching fighting. Yeah, oh, a lot of people it. don't, and I, I never used it. to. I just, I don't know. I just kind of. And I love boxing you know too, what, but I love UFC more. You know what I think I love about UFC? The more I started to watch it and learn about it is, is it's, I used to just look at it like these, you know, a bunch of like, whatever, you know, what's like fighting, beating the crap out of each other. But when you learn like how hard these guys work, right. And what nothing. the training that they, they made, like, put no in and they are so just so athletic and, and hard work. I don't know. I just found a, a new respect for mm-hmm. them. I just really like it. Uh, Matt said he emailed them and they fight out of Virginia. I want to go to one. We should so go. Street beefs. Oh, said, we're totally we go. will drive but to Virginia backyard. and go. That's the backyard fighting. Oh, so, oh, oh, the street. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Who's the. Maybe I'll accompany you. Who's I'll the white kid? Matt, put it in there. I forget his name. The, he's the, the white kid that's like a jujitsu guy and he keeps like choking everybody out. In that? Yeah, he's like a little skinny. He may weigh like 120 pounds. Oh he's like God. beating everybody up. Wow. Um, John's got snow coming this weekend in Southeast Michigan. So yeah. yeah, I heard that New York they're talking about, or no, not York, but uh, like the like Poconos flurries. in Pennsylvania might get it. Um, Don said he watched a bullfight once in Mexico. That I can't. Yeah, I don't. I can I watch, watch people that. fight more than I can deal with animals. I'm yeah, two consent- consenting adults, they can yeah. beat the crap out of each other for all I care. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Cal- uh, that's why we moved to Senate, Tennessee. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. So guys, we're doing our regular live as we always do this Thursday. Thursday. Now this Thursday we have a guest. Um, it's an RV channel called the art of RVing Mark and Carrie, real nice people. So we're going to have them on and, um, 
you know, talk about some things. So join us then. And uh, we're, we're probably going to go live on Thursday. So watch your notifications. Um, we're going to take you around the Hershey Park campground and yep. uh, Hershey and just kind of, you know, it's supposed to be beautiful here on Thursday. So we want to take advantage. So um, Matt said his name is Beach. Yes, I think Beach. that's correct. Okay, that's correct. All right, cool. I cheered for the bull. Good, Don. <laughs> I always cheer. Yeah, not that I watch, but when these people get gored, I'm like, well, that's what happens. You know, you're messing with nature. Um, oh, I never told us the last answer Nikki said. Oh, my God. Thanks, Nick. Yes. So the city of Longmont, Colorado celebrates Cinco de Mayo with a beauty contest in which they crown a king and queen chihuahua. chihuahua. That's weird. That is weird. That is weird. <laughs> but it works for them. But hey. Um, all right, uh, guys, thanks so much for joining us on our Not Our Regular Night. We hope you enjoyed our little Cinco de Mayo um, live demo. Now we're and going to break everything down. We're going to take the dogs for a walk, and then we're going to go watch Sopranos. Yes. Or maybe something else. I don't know. Yeah. We will see you Thursday. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Thanks, as always, for spending your time with us, guys. Have a great night. Good night, night. guys.